What's going on everybody? Jay Lawson here and I'm back with another video. This time uh, another practice ASVAB math word problem. Uh, arithmetic reasoning this time. We're going to be doing a real world situation problem with three variables. So let's go ahead and get into this and look and see what we got going on. And then we'll like take our step back, think about what we're going to be doing, and then go about getting this thing solved. So it says Mike, Sam, and Deanna are real estate agents in Orange County, Florida. Mike and Sam have sold the same number of homes. Mike has sold three times as many homes as Deanna, and Sam has sold 12 more homes than Deanna. How many homes has Deanna sold? Okay, so we're picturing these three real estate agents. And the thing that stands out to me, we're still going to do this with three variables, but what I want you to notice is there's when you take sometimes when you take math tests, there's little hints at ways you can simplify and make things easier. This can actually be a two variable problem because look at that second. Well, first of all, that first sentence. Besides getting the character names, the rest of that information is useless. So don't let any of that stuff throw you off because. They could have been fishermen in Ohio. They could have been. It doesn't matter, you know, and who caught the most fish and all that. Don't get bogged down by detail. So don't don't worry about that. So that whole first sentence, all you have to do is remember that the three people are Mike, Sam and Deanna. What they're doing. They're selling homes, but where they work and all that, that's not uh, important. So the second sentence is what stands out, because look at that. Mike and Sam have sold the same number of homes. So that's a key that you guys can pick up on and turn this into a two variable system, uh, system because a two variable equation, because you can use a variable for Mike or you can use a variable for Sam and it's going to, they're going to end up being the same number. But for this purpose, I'm going to do three variables so you can see how to do it with three. Um, and then we got the Mike has sold three times as many as Deanna. And Sam has sold 12 more than Deanna. Okay, so the whole point of this problem, the answer, at the end, we're going to try to figure out how many Deanna sold, right? So let's start by getting our variables. So we'll make it easy. Our variable for Mike is going to be M. Our variable for Sam is going to be S. And our variable for Deanna is going to be D. It kind of puts things in perspective so we can we can start with that. Now, I want to start a second column over here with what like going straight through like what can we what can we already come up with uh, equations for? All right. So look at the second sentence cuz remember the first sentence is irrelevant. Mike and Sam have sold the same number of homes. So that means Mike's homes are going to equal Sam's homes. So M equals S. Now, let's look at that next sentence. Mike has sold three times as many homes as Deanna. So the next line is going to say M equals 3D. Because Mike has sold three times the Deanna homes, right? Okay, but there's a second part to that sentence. And Sam has sold 12 more homes than Deanna. So S, which is Sam, is going to be 12 more than Deanna. So we're going to do S equals D plus 12. Now it's asking how many homes has Deanna sold? So what we want to do now is start getting rid of the variables. We want to combine these so that we only have one variable left. So we're going to use all this information to come up with a way to make one equation. So let's look at what we got. We got M equals S. So anywhere we see an M, we can use an S. That's what that means. We got M equals 3D. 
So anywhere we see an M, we can use a 3D, which that's very, that's good because that cross, that crosses all three of the boundaries now. So now we know we can eliminate down to just the one Deanna variable, it looks like. And the, and the way I caught that is, look, M equals S, right? So anywhere you have an S, that means you can put an M instead. And anywhere you have an M, you can put a 3D instead. So let's look at this next line. S equals D plus 12. This is, this is going to be our giveaway equation because you see that 12? Once, now we have isolated numbers, so we have a, a raw integer to work with. And we know we're going to be able to get an answer out of that integer. So what we're going to do with that S equals D plus 12 is we're going to try to make it where it's only one variable. What we'll do is we notice that if we have S, it equals M. So, and we need to get it to M. So what we'll do is we'll take S equals D plus 12 which is the same as M equals D plus 12, which is also the same as breaking it down and getting that one variable, which is what we need, 3D equals D plus 12. And if you notice now, we have it where the variables, there's only one variable in this. So all we have to do to solve is isolate the variable. So to do that, the first step on this 3D equals D plus 12, the first step to isolate D would be to, you see that D in the D plus 12? We need to, we need to get rid of that D. So the way we get rid of it is we subtract D from both sides. So if you subtract D from 3D, you get 2D. And if you subtract D from D, you get zero. So that's going to leave you with 2D equals 12. Now we can simplify this more by dividing by 2 on each side, and we'll end up with D equals 6. So Deanna sold 6 homes. But remember, we're not done yet. We do have the answer, and it's the correct answer, but we always want to check our work. So let me show you how to check. Since we have the answer, we can just go back and plug it in. So let's look at, remember that first sentence is not relevant. It's just telling you where they work. But this is a math problem, so don't let those type of things throw you off. The second sentence says Mike and Sam have sold the same number of homes. Okay, that's not really helping us. Mike has sold three times as many homes as Deanna. That helps us because guess what? If Deanna sold six, then Mike had to have sold 18 because that's three times as many. And let's look at the next sentence. And Sam has sold 12 more than Deanna. So again, Deanna sold six. So Sam sold 18. Now, let's see if this checks out and it does because you see that second sentence now Mike and